Radio BDC, I'm Julie Kramer. We are broadcasting live at Boston Calling. It is powered by Xfinity. We're here with San Fermin. Um, so we realize that we don't know each other, but we have a lot in common. I mean, I grew up very close to here, so I got a lot of Boston roots. So when you, where is the rest of the band from? There's like 100 people in your band. There's eight. Yes, but like I said, like 100. Where is everybody from? Um, well, they're uh, sort of from all over the country. Um, we, we all live in Brooklyn now. Um, but I met some of them at college when I was at Yale, and I met some of them actually, like Alan, the lead singer, he and I met when uh, we were at Berkeley School of Music for a summer program. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, so it's really, I sort of assembled them over the course of, you know, however many years. So do you come back home a lot? Um, yeah, well, not as much as I wish. I spend, you know, holidays. We'll come, right. come back. Right. Is your family here? Yeah, they live in Berkeley, Massachusetts. Oh, so they're all here? Yeah, yeah. They also spend some time in Brooklyn, so it's uh, we're, we're very mobile. The concept of home is kind of fluid to us. I oh, guess. well, that's good. But it's not like you're really far away or anything, no, no, so no. it's not it's too all bad. East Coast. So I need to talk to you about your videos, which are so visually beautiful. I mean, they're really phenomenal. And it's funny, I, I watched them, but then this morning I. I I did a rewatch, you know, really lovely. How did you come up with all, did you just sort of look for people to bring you concepts? Were any of those concepts your own? It was always my own concept. Um, you know, I, I, I sort of look at videos as a chance to like create the world that you want to live in. Yeah. Um, and you know, I've always been like the Sunset video happens at Big Sur in, uh, in California. It's in the woods there. And, um, was it the pug's birthday? It, it, I mean, it, it was not actually his birthday, but the, yes, the party and was. Then, and then as I was watching it, my son said, you can't give a dog cake. And he was so upset. <laughs> well, you know, that his fan, the dog's family saw us last week when we were out in, uh, in uh, Monterey. And um, they said that the dog, it was it was the best day of his life. He recently passed away, but they oh. they were they he, he's been memorialized on a T-shirt now. It's good. So talk to me about when you do your music and then you have to take that music, which is audio, and then visualize it into video. Like I look at things sort of literal. Yeah. You know. It's it's a uh, I actually think it's a really interesting challenge because not only are you trying to illustrate a story or something you're trying to find something that complements but isn't too literal to what you're talking about right so it's like um I, I think it's you have to think about it's this sort of like friction between the picture and the music that you're con constantly trying to you know find something interesting there now now your mother who's an artist do you ever ask her for advice yeah both my parents are painters and uh actually they they have they don't have much to say about the you know music side, but often they'll they'll sort of point out things that I never even thought of you know visually that could really work. Well, I but there's there's completely two different mediums yet work together. Right. So tell me what's up with the band. So we uh, I mean we put our first record out uh, in September of last year, and really that's when the band started because I wrote the record before the band had been assembled. So when, after, when you wrote the record then you put everybody together afterwards yeah. and said we're gonna so do this. We actually we did one show in like like December of 2012 where I had already finished the record it was recorded and everything literally we had never played together before so everyone was like reading off of sheet music um, and it was the first time that we ever did it live and then we got assigned right after that and so pretty you know, quick yeah it was very quick and so it was which is great but uh, Maybe it, was, it didn't give you time to think about it. That's right. I just went with it. You know? And then, you know, and then since then, we've been touring on that first record since September. Um, and now I'm working on a second one. But you're still touring. Yes. Like, yeah. I think I looked at your schedule and you're, are you going through, like, the end of the year? Yeah, we're, we're doing another tour uh, in October, November uh, with uh, Courtney Barnett. And we're doing... Uh, um, a bunch of shows across America, and then we're actually just doing a headline show, just us, not her, um, at the St. Clair in November 14th here. You'll have to come by and visit us. Yeah. I think yeah, we have a lot to. more to talk about. It's San Fermin broadcasting live at Boston Calling. I'm Julie Kramer for Radio BDC.